no rocks. <laughs> um, there's there's the, a fly. There's the light. Where's the fly? I don't know. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you? I'm good. Oh, yeah, good, thanks. I rage cleaned this afternoon. <laughs> I'm sorry. As Kaza would say, I rage cleaned. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hello everybody. Um, today uh, we're gonna do beef ribs because it's been requested a lot and because uh, it's awesome and because it's easy, I think. Uh, nah, that's boring. All right, let's go. Take two. Take two. It's always hard to know what to say. I know, right? it's just to get on with it. Yeah. I just, mm -hmm. let's get on yeah. with our lives. Uh, beef ribs. We're gonna do beef short ribs because beef short ribs are awesome. Even though Yazo is, well, anti meat. Uh, I'm not anti meat. You're anti meat. You are anti. -meat. I like some kinds. <laughs> I don't know where to go with that one, so I'm just gonna crack on because um, I'm definitely gonna say the wrong thing there. Um, beef short ribs. They're dead easy, and uh, you're gonna love it. And they're juicy and delicious and uh well, that's all there is really. <laughs> that's all there is really. <laughs> Let's crack on. <laughs> Alright, Yazo. Uh, beef short ribs. So this is our um, this is our uh, rack of beef shorties. And you can see there's a lot of lovely marbling through there. Uh, a little bit of fat on top, we're probably gonna leave that. And then we've got the bones on the bottom. Thick membrane, we're not even going to touch it. We're also not going to season it. I won't get any seasoning through there. Um, and uh, leaving the membrane on allows the bones and the, the structure of the rack to stay together. So uh, with pork ribs, we remove it. With beef ribs, we're not going to. So uh, first thing we want to do, just going to check if there's any, you know, kind of uh, hard fat bits. I'll remove those like that, but mostly, I mean, it's pretty thin on top anyway. So all I'm gonna do is uh, give this a bit of a score through, just to break the surface of the fat and allow a bit of seasoning to get through. Just where the, just where the fat cap is, really. Alrighty, next for a binder, um, just to make our seasoning stick, we're gonna go in with some Worcestershire sauce. And we'll just go over the top. Like that, work that in. Get all of the sides. Then we're gonna go down with some Lane's uh, Brancho, which is a combo of their brisket rub and ancho rub, which is a salt, pepper, garlic, paprika, uh, thyme kind of scenario, but also um, some espresso and a little bit of granulated sugar. Now you can go with whatever seasoning you want. If you wanna go with a more uh, kind of uh, traditional Texas style, you can jump right in with the basic salt and pepper and that's totally fine. We're gonna, we're gonna try this one out today and just go over the top with a nice uh, liberal coating, big piece of meat, you can take it. And this is gonna help it really bark up as well, which is what we want. Get the sides. Um, so that's it, uh, really. Uh, Kamado Joe's preset to 120, 130 degrees Celsius or something like that. Um, plus or minus. Um, I reckon this cook will take uh, between five and a half to six, six and a half hours, something like that. Um, open the whole way, no need to wrap. It's, uh, they're fairly marbled. Um, they're fairly forgiving. We'll build up a bit of a bark and uh, we'll just we'll just go for it, I reckon. Yeah, so what do you reckon? I think that's a good plan. Sol up. Solid plan. Solid plan. You're just going to agree with any shit that I say at this point, aren't you? As long as it moves the video forward. Yeah, right here then. All right, well, uh, let's crack on.
four hours and 15 minutes here and we'll just um, do a bit of a check on the temp and you can see it's going in fairly easy but we are at around 81 82 about 82 degrees this side is getting closer but it's much skinnier this side's getting upwards toward right, right on the edge we're getting up towards 90 degrees there already and on this other edge they're approaching so I reckon we've got another hour to go I reckon it's gonna be about five and a quarter hours we'll uh, let this ride Okay, yeah, we're good here, um, five hours exactly, um, and it's done. We're at about 91 degrees across the, uh, the whole rib. So now we're gonna wrap this up and we let it rest for at least an hour, and then we'll slice into it and see how we did. All right, Yazza. All right, all right, all right. All right, beef short ribs. Dirty beef short ribs. Look, look, look at the dirty bark on those things, people. Look at the dirty bark we on are. that. We are. My gosh. All right, so, attention on me, Yasmin. Attention on me, you know what I'm saying? What's new? So, uh, you can eat this shit like a caveman and just carve uh, one rib per person and uh, serve it up on, attention on me, uh, serve it up on some mashed potatoes with some gremolata or uh, chimichurri or some dirty shit like that or which is what i'm going to do uh, right now to serve the masses you can uh take it completely off the bones and just slice it so that's what we're going to do in fact i'll just slice it might be a bit easier yazo what do you reckon i'll just cut no i mean look at that there you go there you go we'll just and there's a little bit of meat in between those bones uh but not a heck of a lot so i'll put that aside and we'll come back to that you're gonna eat that. Oh, there's, there's some nice little uh, dinner for one. Some nice little bits in there that we can you. have a manjaro on. You know what I'm saying? Now uh, there's a little bit of business on there, but we should be fine. Uh, so let's just uh, carve some slices. Oh. Now should I go across the? Oh, I reckon that might be. You know, look at that. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, I think, I think we should be cut, cutting it this way actually, so let's cut it this way and cut some nice, some lovely slices. Do you love meat more than me? Yeah, pretty much. Look at that Yazo, come on. I mean, yeah. Let's just, I mean, it, it's, let's do that, you see the, the brisket test, you flop it over your finger, oh, look at that, come on, and then you just give it a tiny little tug and a part it comes, you know what I mean? Yes, I, look how juicy it is, Yaz. Look at that, look at it, look. My goodness. Taste test, what do you reckon? Oh you, oh, you, oh, you, oh, now you oh, want I some. I want to taste, that's a lot, cut me small pieces. You just, uh, just pull you off a bit, there you go, look at that. Tell the people. It's okay. <laughs> Cheers. Come on, man. You say that about everything. Yeah, but it melts in the mouth. I mean, it pulls apart, it melts in the mouth. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. I mean, look at this. Look, 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 look at this. Look at the smoke ring. Look at the- You're waffling. Look at the floppiness, all of the business. Oh my gosh. It's just, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Mm, come on. Wow, so good. I mean, I'm just, I'm just squishing it. Okay, I'm getting the wind up, people. I'm sorry about that. No, you just... No, Yasmin just likes to You were going to go up. into the squishiness of it. It's too much. But it's, but it's, it's, okay. People that know... Okay. All right. There attention on me. People that know, uh, they understand me, Yasmin. Okay. You know what I mean? They... Even those people right about this mm. point, I think My you gosh. wind it up, Jeffa. Cook this shit. Cook it. Make it. Do it. Drink the wine. Do the things. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody. I hope you're all well. Watch all of my videos. <laughs> oh, oh.
next video. Uh, it, it might be the best one ever, actually. Um, better than this? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, we're gonna do the ultimate steak frites in the next video, and we are gonna give you the greatest steak sauce on planet Earth. How many glasses of wine have I had? Four? The greatest steak sauce there is. And if you're not making it, you're not doing it. Tune in. We'll see you soon. Cheers.